Hello and welcome to today's math lesson. My name, I remain your favorite math tutor, Azubi Kevlia. And in today's lesson, we will be talking about the Roman system. The Roman system. Let me write that down. The Roman system. There we go. So there were many ancient methods of writing numbers. The Roman system is still in use today. The Romans used capital letters of the alphabets for numerals. They used capital letters of the alphabets for numerals. For numerals. Sorry. For numerals. In the in the Roman system, I stands for units. I stands for units. X X stands for tens. C stands for hundreds. Other letter stands for fives, fifties, five hundreds, and one thousand. So give me some minutes. Let me write that down. X stands for tens. C is for hundreds. So I'm going to write down the, the Roman numeral table because we are going to make reference to it in this lesson. One is I, two I, I, three. I I I four I I I I or I V five is V six is V I seven is V I I hope you are following eight is V I I I Nine is V I I I I or I X. Ten is X. This is the Roman numeral table. I have more. I have more. Hold on. Twenty is X X. Forty is X L. Fifty is L. 60 is LX, 90 is XC, 100 is C, 500 is D. Hold on, give me a sec, let me scroll down. 500 is D, 900 is CM, and 1000. Is M. This is a this is the Roman numeral table for reference, you know, and I want you to take note of some numbers, some very important numbers. Now what are these numbers? One, five, ten. 50, 100, 500, and 1000. I want you to take note of these numbers because they are very important in the Roman system. They are private numbers. They are private numbers from which other numbers can be built, can be derived. They are private numbers. When you check the table, you will find out that 
other numbers are built on this on this particular other numbers are built on this particular pivot numbers other numbers are built on them so they are very important very very important so let us take a, a little example let us take a, an example an example one let's go what does M D C L X X V I I I represent what does this represent? What does this Roman numeral represent in figures? So we figure it out from our table when you make when you go back to the table you find out that m is 1000 d is 500 c is 100 l is 50 xx is 20 and viii is it when you add all this together you get it gives you one c seventy eight and this is what it represents this is what it represents i also want you to take note of something i want you to take note of something take note of the of the roman numerals for these numbers 4 40 400 9 90 900 <laughs> 4 is IV 40 is XL 9 is IX 90 is x c and 900 <clears throat> 900 is c m so why am i making reference to these numbers why you notice when you look at these numbers you notice that there is a pattern in which the roman numerals are written like for for example is one and five forty is ten and fifty sorry sorry then and fifty nine is one and ten ninety is ten and hundred nine hundred is hundred oh I'm getting this wrong and hundred hundred or one thousand I want you to take note of something here. In Roman numerals, when a lower figure is in front of a higher figure, you subtract the higher figure, you subtract the lower figure from the higher figure, and that will give you the value of the Roman numeral. I come again. In Roman numeral, when a lower figure is in, is in the front of a higher figure, you subtract the lower figure from the higher figure and it will give you the value of the numeral. Like in, in this case, 4. 1, we have 1 and 5. 1 is clearly 
smaller than 5 and is in front of 5. So to get the value of the numeral, you subtract 1 from 5, which will give you 4. The same thing here. 10, which is a lower numeral, is in is in is in is 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 in front of <coughs> is in front of um of a, of, of a 50, which is a higher numeral. To get the value, you subtract 10 from 50, 40. The same thing goes. 1 and 10, 1 is lower than 10, and 1 come therefore, 1 is now in front. You subtract 1 from 10, you get 9. The same thing here, 10 is in front of 100. To get it, you do the subtraction, you get 90. The same thing, 100 is in front of 1000. Subtract 100 from 1000, you get 900. So these are the ways, this is a simple trick to get the figures of this kind of numerals. When you check other Roman numerals, you discover that the the the, the higher number always comes first. In fact, a, a summary of this observation is that in Roman numeral, in, let me write it down, in Roman numeral, when when a higher number is in front of a is in front of a smaller or when a higher number is in front of smaller numbers Is in front of smaller numbers you add up all the numbers and that will give you the figure that will give you this the figure of the Roman numeral but when A smaller number is in front of higher of a higher number. You subtract. You subtract the lower number from the higher number. that will give you the figure of the new letter you can take that to the bank this is a simple rule in roman numerals and you can see it from these special numbers from these special numerals i wrote here so we are going to take another example I'm going to take another example. Let's take um, two more examples and we'll call it a day. But what is important is this observation that I've made that I want you to memorize, that I want you to 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 to, to understand and stick to. When a higher number is in front of a smaller number. Or is in front of smaller numbers in the Roman numeral system, you add up all the numbers, and that gives you the figure of the Roman numeral. But when a smaller number is in front of a higher number, you subtract the smaller number from the higher number, and that is the figure. That is the figure. So take note. Alright, let's take two more examples. Before we call it a day, so I'll just go ahead and um, get this off. So we have space for our examples. All right, 
you know. There we go. There we go. There we go. Take a note of this little little rule I came up with. To help you if you're having problems with the room with the um, Roman numeral system, so this little rule will help you a lot. This is something I discovered back in the days. Okay. Let's take a third example. Let's take a third example. Try a second example. Example two. Example two. What number? CCXC present so let's figure this out this should be simple CCXC take it one by one C is 100 another C is 100 XC XC you see this one is 90 xc is 90 so when you add this all up it gives you it gives you 290 so that is that easy as you go let's take a third example and let's call it today example three write the number 1934 in roman numeral in roman numeral okay Okay, this is 1934. 1934. 1000 is M. 900 is CM. 34 is x x x x x x x is starting iv4 simple don't know if you understand 1000 is m and 900 is cm 34 30 is x x x 4 is iv easy easy like sunday morning so this is where we'll call it a day for this lesson thank you for watching thank you for your time don't forget to subscribe to this channel for more mass tutorials i hope what was taught today was understood and um, I'm looking forward to seeing you in the next lesson. Au revoir.